Tip number one, buy the right type of soap. To be specific, you're looking for a soap that either contains menthol, eucalyptus, rosemary, or mint. A quick warning, these cooling soaps vary in intensity. Try them out on other parts of your body before, yeah, you wash your manhood. That being said, tip number two, if you get hot down in the crotch area, there are specialized products that can help you stay cool down below. And for keeping the rest of your body cool in extreme heat, don't discount classic powders. That being said, I know a lot of you guys want to stay away from talc. Look around, there are other options. In today's video, gents, I'm sharing with you tips on how to dress sharp, feel cool in extremely hot weather. Gents, if you've ever had to wear a sports jacket or a suit in extremely hot weather and you wish you would have found this video but you didn't and you end up sweating your balls off, yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Do me a favor, guys, and smash that like button. By engaging with these videos, you tell the YouTube algorithm, hey, this is an important video. More men should find it. So this next tip is easily one of the most important ones I'm going to give you in this entire video, gents, and that is understand the different types of fabrics and how they work in the heat and make sure that when you buy garments, you buy them with that in mind. So this jacket right here is made from linen. What does that mean? Linen is a particular type of fabric that has a unique structure that makes it really easy for air and basically moisture to pass through. Why is that good? Because it makes this garment breathable, even though this is a jacket. This is also an unstructured jacket. So right in here, we find that it's very breathable. It doesn't have a heavy lining. In fact, it's got a very light lining. This is made for summer wear. Now, what about the shirt I'm wearing? The shirt I'm wearing is made from a synthetic material specifically woven in a way that it's going to be breathable. It's a performance fabric. This is a sports shirt. A lot of people you know, try to stay away from synthetic materials. I'll tell you, if you go for those performance fabrics, ones that, you know, golf shirts, or in this case, one specifically made to look like a stylish polo, but actually is incredibly breathable. Guys, these type of garments right here, when you put them in combination, they're simply going to work and they do a much better job than if you've got one part of this that isn't breathable, all of a sudden it's going to trap in that moisture, trap in that heat, and all of a sudden the temperature, instead of, yeah, feeling like 100 outside, it's going to feel like 120 with you wearing those garments. Now, what about cotton? You've probably heard that that's great for the heat. It depends. What is the weave? Something like a twill weave is unfortunately going to be really tight, not very breathable. If you get something like a broadcloth on the other hand, a poplin, that's going to be much more breathable. Or if you find cotton with a gauze weave, something with a three-dimensional weave like um, seersucker, that is is what you're looking for and is going to be a much better option than going for something that has too tight of a weave and doesn't allow air or moisture to pass. The next tip to keep and cool in extreme heat, don't be afraid to bend the style rules. So a lot of you guys probably have heard me say when you wear a sports jacket or a suit, you've got to wear a long sleeve cotton shirt. Okay, I'm breaking the rule, right? Okay, I'm bending the rule. When it comes down to it, this shirt has a collar. It's got a couple buttons right here. Yes, it's a casual polo, but here's the thing. I don't have any sleeves. It's going to be much cooler with this unlined jacket. This combination is perfect. If it's 95 degrees outside, a bit humid, and if I've got to wear that jacket, then this is something I could go with. And yes, I know I'm not showing a half an inch of shirt cuff, but in this situation, it doesn't matter. Now, this next tip to staying cool in the heat, relatively small, but hey, they add up, and that is pay attention to your watch strap. So, leather watch straps. I would avoid them in extreme heat. Leather just isn't super breathable, and yet yeah, could cause you to sweat a bit. Plastic rubber straps, avoid those as well, not breathable. Fabric straps are okay, but they're really relegated to casual looks. To me, the most versatile type of strap during extreme hot weather that actually does a good job of regulating temperature is just simply going with a metal strap. And speaking of leather, the largest leather item you wear when you're dressing sharp in extremely hot weather, your footwear. What you want to avoid is footwear like this, boots that the leather goes up and covers not only your full foot, but also parts of your ankle. Instead, look for a loafer. There's a wide variety of different types out there. Double Monk, it's not a bad option. Beautiful shoe, absolutely love it. But if it's extreme heat, there are better options than this. Why? Check out this pair right here. Notice how the vamp, that's the front, that's top part right here, of the shoe is farther down. So basically, we're exposing more of the foot. This is just going to be infinitely more cooler. I wouldn't say infinitely. It's going to be a lot cooler than that, those, uh, you know, Chelsea's right here. And it's going to be cooler even than the monk straps. Now, this next tip has nothing to do with clothing or grooming. And that is simply drink more water. Whenever your body is fully hydrated, guess what? You're going to be able to better maintain your temperature and you're not going to heat up as much. You're also not going to cool down as much. Your body is just going to be able to better regulate its natural temperature. And doubling down on water, let's talk about cold showers. I know that one seems obvious, but most guys don't do it. Why? Because it's uncomfortable. I don't like cold showers. But here's the thing you can do. Take your regular temperature shower and then that last 60 seconds 
turn it to cold and see how long you can stand. If you could make it to a minute, great. But the great part about this is you're going to get many of the benefits of a cold shower, waking up and feeling cooler for the next hour. And if that's too much for you, gents, here's an easy one. Take your grooming products the night before and put them in the refrigerator. The next morning, pull them out and then use them. Whether it's shaving cream, whether it's your aftershave, whether it's your moisturizer, it's going to go on a lot cooler. And guess what? It's going to cool you down and just make you feel great when you start the day, even if it's, yeah, 100 degrees outside. The next tip to stay cool in extreme hot weather, use your aftershave liberally. Now, this tip only applies if your aftershave does not contain alcohol. If your aftershave contains alcohol, this is going to sting. Don't do it. It's also going to dry out your skin. So, you shouldn't be using aftershaves with alcohol. Instead, look for an aftershave that contains aloe. Right here at Vitaman, the sponsor of today's video, they do contain aloe. And what I love about this is use it as a face moisturizer. You can put it on your hands and your arms as a moisturizer. That being said, when you are using moisturizers, I do prefer that you use one specifically designed for the face on the face and one for the body on the body. What's the difference? Usually, body moisturizers are going to be thicker, possibly could have more oil. That could also clog up the pores. You want to make sure anything designed to go on the face can pretty much go on any other part of the body. But if it's designed mostly for the body, you want to be careful about putting it on the face because the skin on the face is just thinner and more sensitive. And gents, if you only take one thing from this point, know this the quality of your grooming products matter. That's why here at Vitaman, we use natural and organic ingredients sourced from the Australian outback in all of our products. Now, gents, I could go on and on about the quality of our products, but how would I put my money where my mouth is? Down in the description of today's video, I've got a special link where you can try our products for free. Seriously, as an owner of Vitaman, I truly believe that if you try our products, you're going to see the Vitaman difference. Gents, this is a limited time offer. It's not going to be around forever. Make sure to use that link to go over to Vitaman and claim your free sample kit today. Now, we talked about clothing fabrics, but we didn't talk about clothing fit. In general, during the summer, you want things to be a little bit looser so that air can circulate, so that you don't have any hot spots. If you're wearing a shirt that's just a bit too tight, maybe in the armpit area, it's just going to rub you raw. You're going to get a rash. Not a good thing. Another thing to look for is, hey, can your chinos, can you have them brought up hem just a bit higher? So, again, that air will travel in around your legs. And your jacket, maybe make it a little bit shorter. Can you make sure, hey, you know, maybe unbutton. I know we normally want to keep it buttoned when you're standing, but if you unbutton and it just feels cooler. Point being, find ways to get that air to circulate. And let's not forget about fabric color. Lighter colors do a better job of reflecting the light. You think about what the color black is, it's basically a material that absorbs all light. So, if you're absorbing all that light, what are you absorbing? energy. So, lighter colors like white basically reflect everything off and they do a much better job of basically reflecting off that heat. And speaking of reflecting off that heat, I'm always blown away that more men during the summer are not wearing protective headwear. And I get it, a nice hat, a nice Panama can cost you a lot of money. Then start with something cheap. Straw hats, you can find these for, you know, 10, 15, 25 dollars. I picked this up. I was at an air show over in Oshkosh. And yes, it is typically, it's a dad hat. I liked it. It looked good. And it got the job done. And it, it basically got me wearing hats quite a bit more. I eventually did pick up a nicer Panama. And that's what you want to do. Try something, get yourself out there, see the benefits of a great hat, and then invest in a quality one. Now, this next tip is probably more of a placebo effect. But wearing a summer fragrance, one that maybe has an aquatic to it, one that maybe is just aromatic, something that's going to make you feel fresh and clean all day. Another option in the heat, check out citruses. Both of these do a good job of lasting all day. We've got right here uh, Mana Fresh by Versace, and we've got uh, Isemiyaki's Lotus Se Poorum. This one right here has the Yuzu note, which does a great job. It's a little bit sour, but I know so many of you guys have great ideas when it comes to summer fragrances. So let me know your favorite down in the comments. So, what video to watch next? How about my complete list of my favorite summer fragrances? Seriously, guys, if you want to smell great this summer, you want to check out this video and see what I put into my top list of, uh, yeah, the best smelling summer fragrances.